This video is about making your own ferric chloride if you happen to uh, not be able to buy it locally. Why would you need ferric chloride? Well, it's useful in blacksmithing for uh, etching uh, knife blades. If you've made a blade from a Damascus type steel, ferric chloride is used to reveal the pattern by etching the steel. So it's very useful to have. Unfortunately, not everybody can just walk into a local store and grab a bottle off the shelf like the bottle shown here. So if you can't get ferric chloride easily or you have to order it online and don't want to wait weeks for delivery, here's how you can make some yourself. Here's a quick look at some aircraft cable Damascus that was etched with the ferric chloride. Don't know how well uh, the pattern's showing in uh, the video here. It's, uh, oops, extremely uh, fine because it was a very fine stranded bunch of aircraft cable I used. But anyway, back to making ferric chloride. To get started, we need two materials. We need some uh, hydrochloric acid. This is sold uh, to pool and spa stores as well as building stores that handle the uh, swimming pool stuff. It may be called hydrochloric acid. It's also known as muriatic acid and it may just be called pool acid depending on uh, who is selling it and where you are. The second thing we need is uh, steel wool pads. Okay, so let's get set up and get some ferric chloride going. Now we know what our two uh, materials are. We need a source of heat to drive the chemical reaction forward at a decent speed. So I'm going to use a little uh, two-burner stove here. I'll be using the right-hand side, which is 500 watts, which is all I need. I don't need the left-hand burner, which is 1,000 watts. And you'll notice that I've put a uh, old rusty saw blade on top of the burner as a heat diffuser, so I don't locally overheat the bottom of the 2-liter Pyrex beaker that I'm going to use as my uh, reaction vessel to make the ferric chloride. As you can see in the 2-liter beaker, I have nearly 750 milliliters of liquid. I started out by putting in about 200 to 250 milliliters of the uh, hydrochloric acid. Then uh, I topped it up with water to about the 700 to 750 milliliter mark. Then I turned on uh, the little stove. We do not want to boil the acid mixture, we just want to gently warm it. Warming it makes the reaction go a lot faster. Instead of taking a week, it'll be uh, ready in a couple of hours if you warm it gently. You're not looking to boil it or anywhere near boiling. Boiling being 100 Celsius, I heated it maybe to uh, 50 or 60 degrees Celsius at the most. That was all it needed. Once your acid and water mixture are ready, you can just drop in uh, two steel wool pads to start. What I did at that point to prevent uh, my acid from steaming off is I put a plastic lid and uh, weighted it on there. You can use plastic because you'll be going nowhere near uh, temperature that would even soften a plastic lid, so you don't need a uh, glass, uh, cover glass type lid or anything like that. Plastic will work fine. What'll happen is that the hydrochloric acid will slowly break down and dissolve the steel wool pads. What you're going to form is this greenish looking chemical that's called ferrous chloride. Ferrous chloride is our precursor to ferric chloride. 
So the first thing will happen is the steel wool pads will dissolve one after the other in your acid mix. You would keep adding steel wool pads until no more will dissolve. You'll wind up with a green solution, and when you allow it to cool, crystals may even crystallize out and you'll get green crystals on the bottom. Now this is not yet ferric chloride. What we have to do is let it cool down, take the top off, and let air get to it for a few days. What'll happen is the green liquid will slowly turn the orangey-brown color of ferric chloride, and when the color change has happened, you have a ferric chloride solution ready to use for etching your steel blades or any other uh, steel etching that you need to do. Hopefully this has been helpful and useful to a few people out there. Uh, certainly a way of uh, getting ferric chloride uh, quickly if you uh, can't just drive around the corner and buy it wherever you live. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope this was helpful, and there'll be more to come.